Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your week ahead horoscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. <clears throat> it's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button if you are already a continued sub, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can do so on the website address below, you'll have to forgive me. <clears throat> Uh, it seems that I may have been overdoing it recently. Uh, if you haven't got your winter solstice seat, it's on the 21st of December. You can still get a space if you are uh, if you are interested in that. Please hit the link in the description box below. Before we start, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So. When I went into my intuition this week, uh, it's funny, for you and Virgo, I had to look up the symbol because I was like, okay, I, I don't know what that is. So I had to Google it, um, maybe look in books that I have. I couldn't find anything in any of the books that I've got. So yeah, it looks like uh, I had to Google this one. And um, what I got for you guys was the maple leaf. Um, which was, it's a beautiful, right? It turns all the beautiful colors during uh, autumn and winter. And um, one of the meanings that I found for it is it's the tree of tolerance, right? Which I thought was really beautiful because obviously the maple leaf is the, the national symbol of Canada, right? When you think about Canadians, they're actually very tolerant people. So I thought that was a really beautiful message. Um, so in one way, where is it that you need to be more tolerant? Uh, the other thing this, this was about as well, um, was finding strength and fortitude. It's about, um, you know, really being able to stand the test of time and where you need to be more lenient with yourself. Where is it that you uh, need to take a more, well, not necessarily take more care of yourself, but offer yourself more nourishment. Nourishment that's actually, um, you know, inwardly sustainable, so to speak. Um, let me see what else I found for it. Um, it was in, it also important to the Celtic mythology. It was a tree consecrated to Dana, uh, the goddess of fertility. Um, and in China, the maple leaf is associated with honor and the leaves are a motif in, ja in Japan paintings representing love and autumn. So lots of really interesting stuff there is coming through. So this could be about your relationships. If you haven't seen the Weekly General, please check it out. It might speak to you. Um, but this really felt for me like about directing more self-love to yourself, being more tolerant with yourself this week, finding ways to celebrate who you are and maybe even to really think about the journey that you've taken and how far you've come. All right, so uh, this week, your destiny card for the week ahead it is it's throwing them all over the place. You got the judgment card, right? Beautiful card because it suggests that big changes are on their way. And one of the things that you need to master, it feels like this week, one of the things that you're going to need to master is this tolerance for self, is this um, idea that... <clears throat> that you can get it wrong but you you know that doesn't mean that you are a wrong or a bad person it really does feel for me like this week you're learning to take it easy with and on yourself whatever that might mean to you and the fact that you've got the judgment card it does suggest big changes are coming up for you and the reason things you know and interestingly enough this card always represents a blast from the past and it brings you something back to be laid to rest and for you guys I feel like this might relate to this idea um, of you know because Sagittarius is about teaching right teaching learning higher aspirations philosophy the law uh, you know the where you take things and where they should be like how things become astute and all of that I feel like this week it's about you learning the lesson to take it easy almost like to parent yourself but to do it through the guise of love rather than through the, the guise of a, tu a tutor or a teacher uh, then you've got the devil card as the direction where is it that you berate yourself are you addicted to this idea that you must get it right this really is highlighting to you where you are too hard on yourself where the the patterns and the cycles that you go through of self beration uh, this is about that it really does feel for me maple leaf you know finding that tolerance that love that care and appreciation for yourself is going to be an important part of your week this week uh, and you really need to find a way to cultivate that within yourself says Raph losing his voice <laughs> 
All right, uh, your uh, look, right? And then you've got the King of Cups as your insight card. Look at that. I mean, it's such a beautiful card, such an opulent card. And what I love about this King of Cups, he's all about the good time, right? He's all about finding ways to enjoy life, whether they be simple pleasures like food, whether they be simple things like enjoying yourself, having good times. As an experience or an archetype of self, the King of Cups represents finding that softer aspect of yourself and ruling your emotions so that they work with you and for you as opposed to against you. It also represents a water sign male. A water sign male, a water sign uh, a Scorpio could feature for you in some way, shape or form this week. I say that because the judgment card is Pluto. Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio. The king of cups is a water sign male. Scorpio Capri... Uh, Scorpio... Scorpicorn? <laughs> a Scorpio, a Cancer or um, a Pisces, right? And because it's got the judgment card there, I'm leaning towards a Scorpio male. So uh, that is your message for the week. I hope it resonates or serves you in some way, shape or form. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.